middle class families. All right, here to weigh in on this is our panel, Democratic strategist Michael Starr Hopkins, along with Maddie Duppler, senior fellow at the National Taxpayers Union. Thank you both for being with us. Michael, I'll start with you as the Democrat on the panel because we've just heard um, Chuck and Nancy talking about how it's terrible for the middle class, but if you look at the tax brackets, everyone's seeing a benefit. Everyone's tax bracket's going down. So how do you have that narrative? Why? That's your talking point, it seems to be, but it doesn't seem to be accurate. Is that right? No, the middle class receives a, a minuscule uh, tax deduction at the beginning. The overall uh, tax deductions that are received go towards the top 1%. We've seen that the state tax, uh, the amount, the exemptions raised. We've seen that uh, the business deduction, or rather the business tax rate is cut down to 21%. Stock market's at an all-time high. The people who need help are the middle class and the lower class, the working people. They need help to put food in their fridges, not, you know, people who are earning millions of dollars. I'm still not convinced. Maddie, what do you say? <laughs> Listen, Democrats are opposing this bill for the same reason Republicans are supporting it, and that's because it's going to work. Uh, the Tax Foundation is out with a new analysis just this morning saying that just next year, the average American is going to see after-tax income rise by 1.8 percent. Uh, the assertion that this doesn't affect middle-income families families is simply not true. You look at the fact that only 30 percent of the country right now itemizes. That means the vast majority of Americans are just taking the standard deduction. And in this plan, the standard deduction is double. That's in addition to the tax rates coming down for people in those middle income brackets. So it's simply nonsensical to say that they won't see a tax increase. Uh, the math doesn't bear that out. Yeah, I mean, if you look at, Michael, if you look at the numbers, the average family is going to see anywhere from $1,400 to a $2,200 tax break. That's more money. That's $2,000 on average back in middle class families' wallets. That's a lot of money. That can help send a kid to school for a semester. So I'm, I'm, if you came on, Michael, and you said, I live in New York or I live in New Jersey where taxes are really high, my taxes might not be affected, they might actually go up, I'd give you that pass. But when you come on and you say that middle class <laughs> families are, are going to see are going to see an increase or not be affected, I don't, I just don't buy it. When you look at well, the numbers and you look at the, it's the literature. Funny that, it's funny you say that, Ainsley, because I'm actually exploring a run for U.S. Senate in New Jersey for that very reason. Because as a millennial, we're watching the deficit explode. We're watching Republicans talk about reducing uh, the state and local tax deductions. And we're looking at a uh, president who ran on populism now basically run on corporate kickbacks. I mean, this is not the America, this is not the Republican Party that Republicans like Reagan used to stand for. Democrats may not be perfect, but at least we're actively trying to make life better for the middle class. I'm not right. really sure what Republicans are doing anymore. Interesting that you're running. Maddie, maybe it's up to these local officials to lower the taxes state by state, the SALT tax, because the federal government might be lowering the brackets. But if you live in some of these high, high state tax mm -hmm. or high tax states, yeah. it gets very expensive. I absolutely hope that that will be the effect of passing federal tax reform. These states where the uh, the tax burden is extraordinarily high and politicians are inoculated from their decisions to keep taxes high by the state and local tax deduction should certainly feel pressure to be, be better stewards of their taxpayer dollars. And listen, the people who take the state and local tax deduction, just like a lot of other credits and deductions, are high income earners. People who are not making as much money as someone living in a high tax state like New Jersey, they're the people who are going to benefit from tax reform that allows them to increase the standard deduction. Right. We're going to go from 70% of people taking the standard deduction to probably 9 and 10. Both that simplicity and the relief granted in the plan is good for Americans. Okay. Michael, Maddie, thank you so much for being with us. Michael, if you win, you got to lower taxes in that state. A lot of our coworkers here live there. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Merry Christmas to both of you. All right, you he, be he beat out Roy Moore in the Alabama special election, but Doug Jones is